-hmm. So for the sake of justifying my reasons, I am not going all the way home tonight. I am stopping here in Beaver, Utah. I got word from a couple of truckers at a gas station I stopped at that I-15 North is getting pretty bad, pretty windy, pretty snowy, pretty foggy, pretty rainy, pretty icy, all the, all the pretty things that I don't want to have happen. So I'm going to stay down here. I'm at a safe place, fairly well trafficked. Nobody's gonna bother me. Still snowy in the morning, but hopefully by that time they'll have plows out and have the roads mostly clear and it'll be safer to go up than a fresh snow in theory. So we will see how tomorrow looks and we will go from there. Till then, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, so good news and bad news. Um, good news is I got a great night's sleep, plenty of rest. Uh, bad news is it's exactly what I anticipated. It is a mess out there. Quite a bit. My car is covered in a couple inches of snow and I have no idea what the freeways look like. But I don't have a choice. I got probably three hours, three and a half hours till I'm home, give or take. Yeah, we will see how this goes. Right now I'm just following my new best friend. It's the semi truck way up there. Uh, we're probably 30 miles outside of Beaver right now and that pass between Beaver and here is ridiculously. I went off the road once. I was trying to stop to reset some error messages on my dash, but I should have just kept going. Don't ever decide to stop. Don't ever decide to stop if it's snowy and icy on on a hill, especially when there's only one clear lane to go through. Don't stop. I was fortunate enough to be able to work my way out, but that may not always be the case. So we are currently through the snow. We are now well, I'm 30 minutes from breakfast, but about an hour from home. So, making, making good progress. The weather has changed from heavy snow to a light rain. I'm just really glad that I was able to get through the, the snow with only, with only getting stuck once. That was embarrassing for me. So I should know better than that. But it happened, learn from it, do better next time. Half hour to lunch, half hour to home. It's about time. Should have been home last night and should be working right now, but I made a choice and choices have consequences. All right, after a trip longer than intended to get back and a snowstorm through Southern Utah, finally back home. Finally home, good to be back. Later than anticipated, but what can you do? Something you can't plan for everything. Um, I guess nothing else to say, but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all the fun stuff that people say at the end of their videos. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.